decided to push right back up in here on the edge of the dough bed where I found a scrape because it's so warm it's I actually didn't hunt for a couple days because it was in the 70s this morning it's 65 degrees I got a full moon that's pretty much killing it but hey there's a little movement happening I'm going to camp out up here and see if anything else comes through. Spikes are getting a little bigger. <laughs> He's definitely trolling, looking for does. Little afternoon, and I am calling it a hunt today. I'm back here at the truck, and the thermometer's reading 78 degrees on November 7th. On top of that, we got this huge full moon coming up right at sunset and staying out all night, going down right at dawn. So, with that going on, I'm not expecting the deer to do much until well after dark tonight even with the rut coming on strong uh, I had those two spikes I got right tight on bed and cover today trying to catch catch those deer in the morning moving back in there to troll for does and it wasn't too hard to pass on those spikes that first one I, I do not like that straight down shot at one or two yards uh, you gotta slip that broad head right between the spine and the shoulder to make it count and a lot of times it won't punch at the bottom and come through the sternum and you won't get a blood trail so I usually pass those shots as a rule and the second one was a little tougher but <laughs> he did exactly what I needed him to do he came down the trail walked through my shooting lane at 23 yards I mean like he read the script that's exactly where I was looking to get my shot right where he walked through there at but uh you know Michael and Dana already put several deer in the freezer we got plenty of meat so I went ahead and let him walk too and the main reason for that because the rut is coming on strong and we've had these high temperatures the past week that's all changing it's going to drop into the 40s tonight so i will be out there me and michael are going to head back in where he killed his doe where those does are bad and we're going to get on the downwind side of that and try to catch those bucks looking for those does this cold air will get the deer on their feet even with the full moon the rut is coming on strong i have high hopes tomorrow that we'll see some bucks doing their thing. Michael and I did get back in that spot where he took that doe earlier this year and it was a nice cold morning and we got all set up about half hour before first light and started getting the light and about sunrise, just a little after sunrise, the combine fired up and started cutting the beans out in the field about a hundred yards out so Needless to say, we didn't see a whole lot of deer. We held out hope that it might bump something that way, but we got tired of listening to that noise. By about 11, we cut out. It was getting warm, so we went in. Now what I, I've done today is I've finally gotten the wind I've been waiting on. It's a odd wind, east, southeast, but it is perfect for back in here at spot one where all those rubs were we don't get this wind much in the fall here and even though it's a little warm it's 50 degrees again but
came walking right up on me while I was talking to the camera. He's still right over there. Freaking incredible. I was sitting here talking. It's it's 1.30 in the afternoon. I just finished getting set up. That deer comes strolling right in. I'm not sitting here talking. Happen to look over and see him. Well, I got my fingers crossed for tonight. He wasn't quite what I was looking for. Walked right up underneath me. But, uh, yeah. You wait for the right wind. Things happen. Uh, huh. Just got back to the truck. I saw no further deer activity tonight and that doesn't really surprise me with this big full moon but I hope this wind holds because I'd like to be right back in that same tree come tomorrow morning well, I slipped back into this spot where I was yesterday and had that little buck slip up on me let me make sure he's not coming while I'm talking to the camera again but uh yeah, it's about 9 o'clock and I haven't seen a thing. No deer movement at all this morning. Just a couple squirrels. And this could be my last sit for this year's ride. And Dana and I have to get back on track and start getting things ready for our uh, move that's coming up. But, I mean, we still got this big full moon holding out hope for the midday movement here. Got nice and cold last night. I'm kind of surprised I didn't see any deer. But we'll see how things go mid-morning. Well, right after I shot that little clip where I was going to stop the video, I had a doe come in. She wandered around for a while, sniffed around. I thought she was going to bed down. She was sniffing around in the bushes. But uh, I waited for a couple hours after she went on through, hoping a buck would, you know, come through trailing her. But nothing else showed, and with the wind shifting back around the opposite direction this afternoon, there's <laughs> no point in staying where I was at, so I don't know, I'm pretty tired. It's about 1 o'clock now, and the deer haven't been moving well in the evenings, so I may just call this a rut hunt. And uh, get with Dana. We got stuff to do this weekend coming up. It's Thursday. We got to go get ready to you know get down to our new place in Tennessee start getting that set up so if videos get sporadic for a while you'll know why um, we got to take care of this but we we're gonna have a lot of fun exploring our new location so <laughs> we will be back with more videos just as soon as possible we appreciate you subscribing make sure you hit that little bell notification so you'll know when those new videos do come out we're www.camochairproductions.com, sharing the outdoors on YouTube.